So Bennett and I are home alone. Everyone else went. Sarah had to play piano at a baptism again, and she took the other two because they want food. He's apparently found the button to turn it on. Pew! Pew! Hey, you give me that back. What are you doing? This is hard to get it to turn on. Let me turn it around. I can't turn it around and hand it to you. Oh, sheesh. Why is it so easy to turn it off? There you go. <laughs> Are you having fun? That's that's not how you're supposed to use the lightsaber. Oh, now we got both. Darn. I finally got myself a, a, a basket to put here to organize this, this area. There's just been a pile of stuff here for a very, very long time. Um, especially lately because of that food that Chris... Chris? Colson. The food that Colson gets from school, they, they send him home with a bag of food every day and he doesn't eat all of it um, every day and like there are some things that I just eat because he's not gonna want them like the burritos and basically any of the Mexican stuff because it has beans in it he doesn't want beans. Um, so like I eat those but then there's these that like he wants them but he forgets to eat them, like doesn't eat them right away, and so they just kind of have been piling up. And I also have been keeping produce stuff here, and I'm just like, I need... So I finally got a basket. Finally did it. Um, it's gonna make it harder to get stuff out of this, but... You know... I still think it would be a better situation than it was before. Oh, the joys of a small apartment. Um, now I gotta figure out what to do about this mess. It's better than it was before. A, a few weeks ago, I finally threw away the half-gone package of um, powdered milk that I opened in March of 2020. Um, that one, I opened it because, you know, with all the panic buying and the grocery store shelves were going empty, we, um, we didn't have too much trouble getting a hold of milk. But um, there was one point where I was just like, you know, just in case Chrisser has a hard time getting enough milk, because the, the stores were limiting you to buying two gallons at a time, usually. Um, and so the, that first week of the panic buying stuff, Chrisser was still going to work. They hadn't locked that down yet. Um, and so every day after work, he would stop by a store on the way home and grab two more gallons, because we usually buy four or five gallons every shopping trip. Um, so... He was just buying, a, or maybe they were limiting it to one gallon, because he was having to go a lot. Anyway, I don't remember, but I was just, there, there was a part of me that was just like, feeling a little bit left out. Um, not, like, not quite left out, but feeling like a missed life experience, I don't know, living through this like, in the world type thing where grocery store shelves were empty without having to open my food storage. <laughs> um, so I opened up one packet of the, the milk, powdered milk. Um, and we, I did use it to make a, a few gallons, but I didn't use up all of that packet. And it just sat there on the counter for literally two years. <laughs> and I finally was just like, I should probably throw this away. So I did.
Um, <laughs> um, and that, that opened up a bit of space over there, so I was able to shove the cracker boxes back there. I really should probably just throw them away, because we've been not eating them lately. You're hungry? Yes, mother. Do you want to eat some of this school snack stuff? The Fritos or the Belly Bears or the Cheez-Its? No, Belly Bears. The Teddy Graham things. No, I said belly bears. Do you want to eat them? I don't want to eat either snacks right in front of the snacks. Not the snacks. Well, oh. um, great. I guess I better go figure out what food to get him. Hi guys. Wait, I, made... I hadn't started yet. There you go. Hi guys. I made this picture in school. I'm trying to be in Dominus. How to be a ninja, and here's where the Indominus' shirt it fell into the mud. Here's a close-up look. Look, this rock house is all soaked with mud. And that fan's blowing all this mud. Cleaning the Indominus' shirt? Yeah. Well, what if it gets the Indominus' tail? Ooh. We don't know what will happen. Oh, man. Let's not find out. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> And these are still falling. This is still soaked. Yeah. And then, you, so you said this is you being a ninja, teaching the Indominus how to be a ninja? Yeah. And this says what, Haya? Yeah, Haya. <laughs> Drive my best. Yep, I think it was a pretty good picture. The Indominus got 10% good, and I got one something percent good <laughs> it's a huge number good yes it's almost the highest number wow let me see we've got the we got one two three four five six that looks like 10 million 10 million you got 10 million percent good sure wow and then what was uh, the down here at the bottom what was that mosasaurus the mosasaurus it's just it's just they're swimming in the lake. Uh -huh. Okay. No. Look, it's copying me. Mm -hmm. See its hands? Did we pass it? Very nice. I'm just like this. Ah, I couldn't quite see your foot. Can you back up? You're too, you're too close to the camera. There we go. That's what you're doing in the picture? Yeah. Okay. I, I mostly just love that he, he, he did this bit and then did a close-up of it. I thought that was really fun. <laughs> um, yeah. Can I slice this straw? Making apple pie with my apples. Yeah. Yeah, Colson has uh, accumulated a bunch of apples from the, the food that the and school sends. And there's six right now. I'm cutting yeah. one of the six. They're with this apple peel slicer. Uh -huh. That slices the apple peel off. It also takes out the middle and slices it into nice little slices. Oh yeah. Yep. Well, I still have to cut it like in half to make it nice slices, but it does most of the work. Okay, leave it alone. I need to do the next step, okay? <laughs> I'm taking it off. Okay, just set it on the counter now. Can you do it? This looks like a lemon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he saw me pull out the camera and started smiling all cheesily. Were you giving a cheesy smile for the camera? <laughs> yeah, I just pulled it out to show that I finished the pie. Uh, it's not winning any awards for prettiest pie, but it's there. We're just waiting for it to cool down now. Ow. You excited? Is it almost on? Okay. Almost. <laughs> This girl is at just the wrong height. She keeps going banging her head, banging, bonking, banging her head on this bar thing. Raina, I can't pick you up right now, okay? I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. Bennett, what are you doing? I need you to pick me up. I can't. You know, I wanted to go show what you did with um Stitch. Should we go show? Oops, I can get through this squishy spot here. Bennett's coat. Okay, so the, the pie crust, you're okay. The pie crust has shortening in it, right? And I I use one of these like pre-portioned one cup things of shortening. Oh, that's dark. And Raina took the, the package and 
Turned it into a little, what is it, a house? A room? Yeah. For wait, wait, a stitch. that's a stitch. That stitches, that stitches chair, and his he's chair. watching, and that's his storage. His storage? Yeah. Is he watching a show? Yeah. Okay, cool. What will be the TV? Maybe we could just turn him a little bit and he can watch My Little Pony with you guys. Yeah. Oh, there's some light. You can see better now. It's a pretty cute little area for Stitch. <laughs>